All right, install instructions for the GC Loader SD mount from Laser Bear Industries. So on your cube, you wanna have it flipped over. You need to unscrew the four corner screws. They are a game bit, which is a specialty screw that was used by uh, Nintendo, Sega, and probably several others back in the day to secure their consoles. So take the four screws out of the corners. And set them aside. Some of this will be off camera. And just because of how bulky this is. In case you don't know what the GC or the GC loader is, it's a new optical disc emulator for the GameCube that will be released here very soon as of the filming of this video. Come on. So after you have your screws removed from the corners, you're going to take the top off and just set it aside. It will go back on once we're all done at the end. So now we have the fan. The fan just has two screws and this wire right here that needs to be undone. So if you just grab on the wire and give it a little tug, it'll pop right off. And then using a number two screwdriver, or a very good number one screwdriver, like I have here, you can remove the two screws on either side of the fan. Once those are out of the way, the fan will lift up and out of the way. There's a little hook here that the wire for the power goes through. You just have to kind of maneuver the wire around it and get it out of the way. And then you can set that guy aside. The back panel, if you just pull on it, pull up, it pops right off. You can set that off to the side. Front panel, you twist forward, and there's a ribbon cable here. You just need to be careful with that not to rip it off. Grab the ribbon cable, give it a slight tug, and it'll pop right out. You can set that aside as well. We won't need that until we reassemble the console. So now we have a whole lot of screws that Nintendo thought was necessary for this. So we got three on this side, four on this side, and four on this side, and four little guys with these little metal face covers. So I'm gonna start with those. Just take the two screws, loosen them on either side, and just to make things convenient for me, at least the way that I do this sort of thing, I'm just gonna leave the screws in that little metal piece. I'm gonna pull it up, set it off to the side. And we will do the same with the next one over. That way the screws that go with it are in a place that I know what they were for. So now, we just need to take all the rest of these screws off. These are all the same size, so you can kind of set them in, all in the same area. I'm not going to show all of these on screen just because it's not anything too complicated. Just got to take the screws out, set them to the side so that you can take the disk drive off. And I'm sorry that my 
GameCube is so dirty. This is a non-functioning GameCube, but I have it for parts. I figured it would be the easiest way to demonstrate how to install this mount. Should also follow any instructions that Dan gives with his product because there will be further disassembly beyond what I'm doing today required to install that board. I have a test board that does not have components on it, but I will not be using that for this demonstration just because it's not a good representation. So if you have them all out, you pull the drive straight off. We're going to be working on the drive portion. I'm going to set the bottom portion of the console off to the side. So if your disk drive is functional and your laser is functional, um, you might want to set something down so, so you don't scratch your lens. Uh, a piece of soft cloth or something along those lines. So once we get it flipped over, there are six screws on the bottom. We got one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. We are going to remove all six of them, and we're going to set them aside. We will be reusing four of them to attach the SD mount to this piece of metal. So again, I'm just taking the screws out. setting them aside because I will be reusing some of them. Once you have all six screws removed, you can pull the metal away from the drive. So now you have the drive that can be set aside. If it's still functional, you may be able to reuse it at a later time or installed in a different console or something along those lines. So now we're going to install the actual bracket. So the bracket looks just like this. There are four mounting holes and the SD card sticks out. The GC loader will be mounted in this location right here and there will be a SD card slot right there. So when you install this you want to install the SD extension into the board, and then you're gonna set this guy down onto the board into position. The screw holes line up with some of the original screw holes at the bottom. be taking the screws that we pulled out of the disk drive to attach down to these guys. So this original screws here, these are a self tapping screw. So as they go in, they will cut their own threads into the plastic part. So there is a little bit of force needed. It might seem excessive, but it's actually within the tolerance of the screw. So there, there is nothing to worry about there. screws started. Screw them almost all the way down because there just needs to be a little bit of play just because there may be some slight variances in the print. It's 
especially if you printed one of these yourself. Because not all printers print the exactly the same. Once you get all four screws installed, you are ready to put everything back together. So we take our bottom. And we set the mount back, or the completed mount assembly back on top. And we start putting it back together. I'm actually going to pause this while I put all these screws back in and be right back. All right, so those screws are back in. We're going to put the fan back in place. Put the screws back in on either side of the fan. And hook our fan or our power cable back up. All right, got to be careful again with our controller port board. We got to get this connector back into the little plug down in there. I find it a little bit easier if kind of everything's out of the way when you're doing it by kind of holding it out of the way kind of like this. I don't know how easy that is to see, but and then you can take and push connector back in, set the face of this guy on there, and close her up. And then the back panel. You just set it right over and tilt it on. And then you take the cover, your top cover, Slide it right on top. Sorry, this system is cracked in a few places and it's kind of hard to put back together. And then put your screws back in for the or the game bit screws back in to seal up the case and it's all said and done you can open up the lid and we have a remote SD card slot where you can press in an SD card press it out there's a couple spots to store your SD cards so that they're out of the way, but still contain within the system if you want to have a couple extra SD cards. And that is a quick and dirty install of the Laser Bear Industries SD card mount for the GC loader. A lot of words there. Thanks. Have a good day.